Now on today's Team Day 4 exclusive Inside the Emergency Room. The hit show ER has given us a look at life or death decisions that doctors have to make. Now there is only one adult level one trauma center in the Milwaukee area. Tonight John McGear takes us behind the scenes to show us one of the nation's best ER teams in action. John. Mike Carroll, a TV crew has never been allowed to spend an entire shift inside the Freighter and Medical College Emergency Room until tonight. And we saw some of the nation's best emergency room doctors and nurses in action. Patients here. Trauma. It's what they handle on a daily basis at the Freighter and Medical College Emergency Department. This is Santos. He's 37 year old male. He was pinned between a forklift and a car. 18 gauge, right 8500 up, 500 in. Sir. What we're going to do is we're going to roll you onto your side, okay? We're not going to no drop you, you, okay? Mm. We're going to turn you around and take a look at your mm. back, okay? Docs try to find the source of Santos' excruciating pain. The shoulder oh. hurt? Oh, oh yeah. His tenderness and deformity yeah. to his left shoulder. X-rays, blood work, EKG, CAT scans. Oh, 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 okay. Oh. The trauma team races to diagnose the extent of Santos' crush injuries. The X-rays tell the story. No pneumo, no emo. No no He's got. Looks like that. That's got that's one second. fracture there. Santos is lucky. There are no internal injuries. Nothing life-threatening. This hurt here. Yes. There are two broken ribs, a broken collarbone, and pain. Lots of pain. Dr. Chris Decker is a faculty member and ER physician. He's worked thousands of traumas. Your senses come forward and you are, everything is bright and vibrant and you're really trying to get all the information that you can. Hey Becky and Jason, I'm sorry you guys have the only open room. Ambo is going to go in 33. We're at Freighter on a Monday. And a 30 year old guy with right lower quadrant pain, I mean appendicitis is obviously very high on the list. It's typically the busiest day of the week. Ice stamp machine is down, so turnaround times for ice stamps is going to be very lengthy. Lana Zobel is the shift flow coordinator. Her job is part traffic cop, part air traffic controller in the busy ER. It's fun, it's frustrating, it's aggravating, it's emotional stress, it's um, but I don't think I would do any other type of nursing. Hi there, Dr. John. Dr. John Van Hoekelum is a senior resident in the ER. Jacob Turner says his asthma is suffocating him. Your asthma has been acting up for how long now? Two weeks ago I had a really mm -hmm. asthma attack and like flu type symptoms. It does it feel like your usual asthma exacerbations? No. How does this feel different? Yeah, it's uh, just unbearable. Dr. Decker comes in to check things out. Sound kind of froggy. Is that part of the illness? Uh. Decker and Van Hoekelum discover that a viral infection is irritating Jacob's asthma. He's given medication and sent home. Big breaths. Punishing chest pain. And out. Pneumonia. Does your stomach hurt at all? No, that feels okay. As our shift progresses, the ER gets busier and busier. We're completely packed right now. Emergency department, this is John. The workload increases and the pace quickens. 90 minutes later, the ER is slammed. We're going to kick 34 okay, and 33. So they shut down to all non-trauma ambulance traffic. And with two other area ERs already closed, it'll be difficult for ambulances to find somewhere to take patients. We've got 12 waiting, 13 waiting out front, six people to even be seen out at our front triage desk. We've got two in the trauma room. I've got a full arena, so I have no place really to put any more patients. Our shift ends, but the life-saving work continues. Rib two, clavicle fracture. By the end of the week, you don't have much left to give, and it can definitely take a toll on friendships, families, because you give everything you have at work. And last year, that ER took care of more than 50,000 patients. 3,000 of those were traumas, but it's also important to point out that Freighter is a neighborhood hospital, and the ER is always open to take care of things like broken bones, stitches, and illnesses. And we, of course, want to thank Freighter and the Medical College for the extraordinary and exclusive access that they gave us. What a job, and imagine the constant tension and the work that they Hour did. after hour, day wow, after day, week after, after week. Day. Busy, busy, busy. Wow. Yeah, interesting. Thank you very You're much, welcome. John.